together with your Mark V GTI. That was a while ago, but now you have a new car. Yep. It's a Mazda Miata. So this is a NB? NB, yeah. NB generation. Yep, second generation. 03. Um, so kind of tell me the story of this. How did you go from the GTI to this car? Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, I had a, a Protune Stage 2 GTI uh, Mark VI. That was a Mark VI. Mark, not Mark V. My bad. Yeah. Mark VI. Oh. Um, and yeah, so the car was awesome. I loved it. I loved every bit of it, but it, it started to have kind of some issues and it was starting to show uh, some nice German uh, quirks. German quirks. <laughs> when, when you tune German cars, they tend to not take it very well. Really? Okay. Um, That's cool. Hello, squirrel. Um, so yeah, the car started to have some issues and it was my only car. So if it broke, I would risk going to internships, jobs, and it was like, it was kind of I don't know. I wouldn't say that it was unreliable, but I was worried that it might be. Okay. So what I did, I basically sold it. I bought this. Uh, this is a 2003 NB Miata. Uh -huh. uh, we have a, a fair amount of history in my family with Miatas, so I was pretty safe uh, safe buying it. Mm -hmm. And um, sold the GTI. I'm driving my dad's uh, old Jetta. He's, uh, he's leasing that to me, basically. Okay. And this is kind of just like my summer car that I have fun in. Good choice. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go pretty extensive in modifications, but as of right now, I'm pretty poor. <laughs> so, You're a college student, so yeah, like, no, I know. yeah, it's, you it's have not, a car. I didn't have yeah. a car when I was in college. Yeah. Um, so, mods, what have you done already? Because there's, there's a few. There's a few, yeah. So basically, I did, how should I say this? So basically, I did uh, handling mods, and then like, I woke the engine up a little bit. Okay. So it has coilovers, yes. uh, it has an alignment that's kind of street-based, uh, it's a little bit aggressive okay. for the street. Um, but yeah, uh, coilovers, alignment, uh, new tires, I'm running Continental, uh, Extreme Contact Sports, mm -hmm. uh, very good tires, I love them. Um, I have a cold air intake, roll bar, that's, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, well, I like my favorite mod is you took up the sun visor so I can see out of the yeah. car now. It's a tall guy mod so I can see. Oh, yeah. Um, so what, what's your favorite part of this car? My favorite part is just, like, it's it's pretty fun to drive. Yeah. Like, it's it's really slow, and I'll kind of show you, like, real quick. This is going to be what? You're going to okay. be astounded. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. Yeah, it's, it's slow, but, like, it doesn't really feel slow because... Uh, so this car has VVT, right? Yes. And um, that's something that you kind of need in Miatas. It makes it feel a lot faster than it actually is, just because you get more power up top. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of it just kind of builds. Okay. So that helps a lot. Well, the other thing is, I really do believe a slow car driven fast is more fun than a fast car driven slow. Yeah. Like going balls to the wall, going through the gears, flooring it in this thing while still being reasonable, yeah. it's a lot more fun than <laughs> idling around in like a Lamborghini or something. Yeah, you can you can use all the yeah. power in this like all the time. Yeah. It's really, you can just go balls to the wall, it's awesome. I remember I had a, a, a new Miata for a week from uh, from Mazda and it was so, it put a big smile on my face because I yeah. just like rip around town like taking corners at like max speed or whatever. Yeah, they're it fun. was a lot of fun. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't view it as slow as a downside per se. Yeah. But you are, you, your family on a side note, your family does have one that you're making fast, right? Yeah, we have a full out <laughs> race car at this point. Yeah. Miata. Uh, it's supercharged. Uh, it makes right now 230 wheel horsepower. If okay. We go, if we go E85, yeah. it could like easily make like 250 wheel. Okay. Easily. Yeah. Um, probably even more. And, and a car. It, it, it goes, it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> The car the size we'll, of we'll like say a small that, refrigerator yeah. or something like these are so tiny. Yeah, no, okay. Small. Is there anything you don't like about the car? Uh, I should have thought of that before. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. I know. <laughs> if uh, nothing comes to mind immediately, then there might not be anything yet. Yeah, I think. So the thing is, like, if you buy a Miata, you don't buy it as a practical car. No, no. Nobody. If you do that, you're you're just you're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, it's the wrong purpose. So I think like downsides. 
I have to say this, like, yeah, it's small. Yeah. You know, it, it's a small car, but it really isn't a downside because nobody buys this car as, like, a practical SUV. family yeah. car or whatever. Nobody does that. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. You showed me the trunk. It's not... It's not horrible. That's not like, bad. you could yeah. do a Meyer grocery trip or something. Okay, you're not going to go to Costco and load it up. Or you're not going to be able to move with it. But yeah. it's, it's acceptable. Um, all right. So, what are the future mods that you want to do once you end up with money? Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Oof. All right. This uh, is about to be a long list, I feel. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Kind of. Okay. So, really, I want to do an EFR turbo. I Ooh. really, really do want to do that. Okay. Um, I'd shoot for, like, under 300 for sure. Like, mm -hmm. I'd be happy with, like, 270. That would be awesome. Wheel horsepower? Yeah. Okay. That would be amazing. And, honestly, the transmission might have some issues with that, but we'll see. Oh, so this is the 5-speed, too? This is the 5-speed, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, some of the newer NVs came with six speeds. Yes, I remember reading that. Um, it's just they're they kind of hold around the same power level. The end, mm -hmm. the the six speeds are a little bit better. People want them more. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one's okay. fine. Okay, so turbo and turbo, all the supporting yeah. mods for that would probably all the supporting need an mods. Yeah, inner cooler. Yeah. I need yeah, all, okay. all that good fun stuff. Anything like aesthetic? You mentioned like potential hard top. Yeah, I want to get a hard top. Okay. They're so expensive. Yeah. It's just it's yeah, I gotta wait up for that, but. Yeah, just I, I kind of just want to make it a turbo clean NB build. Okay. You know, okay. just something something streetable. Mm -hmm. I, I want to keep the AC. It's, it's just nice. It's nice. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Nice. It's a, it uh, does get hot in the summer. Yeah. 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 All right, that's cool. So if someone were to ask you, what is it like to own an MB Miata? What would you say? I'd say it's awesome because awesome. the thing is, when you turn the key, it'll start. Mm -hmm. These things are so reliable when they're stockish. Yeah, it's insane. Okay, it's just I can just beat on this all that I want, and it, it's never gonna like really do anything crazy. And okay. if if it does break, you can buy like a new engine with less miles than this. Yeah, for like eight hundred bucks. Really? Yeah, and it's super easy to swap. Oh, holy crap! We um for our NA, we pulled the engine in under two hours. Oh wow. Hold the entire engine in under two okay, hours. Okay, so they are really friendly to work on it. So so easy. Okay. Like, and the thing is, I don't exactly know a whole lot, you know, about modding cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I know enough to where like I can kind of get by. Mm -hmm. But this is just super easy. Okay. It's just so nice. Fun to drive. Yeah. Like, look at this. <laughs> Have you tracked this at all? Do you want to do autocross or anything with it? Uh, not with this car. Okay. I, I do all the autocross and races with uh, the other car. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Because I'll be, I have actually thought of, I've looked at used Miatas as, as like a not a bad expensive car to track. Because like, let's just say like you buy a Shelby 350R or like an R8 or whatever, or a Lamborghini. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd rather have something that if I stuffed it into a wall, it's okay. Yeah. If I bought a GT3 and crashed it into a wall, I would be crying for the rest of my life. And the thing is, like, there's a reason why so many people race them. There's so much feedback that you get from this car. It's okay. Amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, so it's a really good learning car. The consumables for racing. Yeah. You know, brake pads, tires, tires, oil. Yeah. All that stuff. It's so cheap. Okay. It's so cheap. I mean, these are 205s. Oh. I mean, it's like... Oh my. Just so <laughs> I cheap. thought my i8 tires were fine. 215s in the front, 245s. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. Uh -huh. They're just so cheap. I guess my biggest complaint, or my concern, is I don't fit comfortably. Very I true, guess if yeah. I just took this out and put like a race seat in and just sat it on the ground that's, that's on the frame. That's another thing. You know, if you can get the seat down a little bit, yeah. that might help. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, yeah, they're pretty small. And I am a, a large person that does not fit Miatas. Yeah. I, with one of my uh, friend's dads had one, an MB. And with the top down and the window down, I could just step in over the door without like opening the door. Just like, all right, that's how I'm gonna get in the car. Yeah. All right. So ownership wise, you're liking it. Love it yeah. Do you love it a lot more than the uh, the GTI? Uh, Is that a hard question? It's, it's really hard because you liked your, I liked your GTI. It was really I, nicely done. I loved that car yeah. so much. But the thing is, like, they serve different purposes, okay. right? That car was getting me into the modding world, getting me into the car world, mm -hmm. and it was. I wouldn't say badly modded, but I cut a lot of corners. Oh, okay. With this build, I want to I want to do it right. Okay. And yeah, I definitely I love that GTI. Okay. But this is just entirely different. It's just a lot of fun. That's good. Well, I'm happy you have a new car that you're enjoying a lot and gonna do fun, exciting things with it. Uh, looking forward to driving it around. So, yeah. if you have any questions, please let us know. Comment below. If you want to plug anything for your own personal channel? Yeah. Um. So yeah, if, if you like the car, um, 
feel free to check out my channel. Uh, it's called Patty Boy. Um, link in, in bio. Yeah, we'll link it below. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I, I do a lot of work in this car. Um, I've got a supercharged Miata, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Wasn't that going to be a turbo also at one point? It was going to be turbo. Okay. It was going to be an EFR turbo. Oh, okay. We went with the supercharger route just because it's it's a little bit more reliable gotcha. for tracking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, so uh, check me out. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys.